And, of course, we must think of manipulatory possibilities of television. It has its own tremendous possibilities. Violence broke out again last night as some young people were prevented from meeting peaceably in the downtown area by noticeably nervous, if not to say, trigger-happy police. Frank Bushman, attorney for the young people who are to be arraigned in court tomorrow morning, pointedly remarked on this overreaction by the police. I hereby declare this an unlawful assembly. Late last night, disorder broke out among a small, unruly mob as our guardians of the peace quietly and efficiently, in spite of extreme provocation, restored order. I command you to disperse, and if you do not, you shall be arrested for refusing to disperse. You have two minutes to disperse. It is important that our courts make an example of these hoodlums and hand out the kind of sentences they so richly deserve. We staged this scene. We filmed it to show the television can tell any story that it wants to tell. In both versions, the action was the same, and the actors did exactly the same things. However, the camera was placed differently. The editor edited differently, and the announcer told a different story. We would be naive not to realize that what we're seeing is an edited symbol. But the nature of TV is such, we see it with our own eyes, that we naturally look at it as though it were objective truth. For many, what they see on television is more true than what they see with their eyes in the external world. Let me stress, it is always unfair to say the media does this or the press does that. They're always individuals, or individual publications, for example, that are not included in the generalization. But the mass media can be used by an authoritarian, manipulating government or an elite. The elite gives the arbitrary absolutes, and then not only TV, but all the mass media can be used for manipulation. And a plot or conspiracy are not needed. All that is needed is that the people in the places of influence and those who decide what is the news have in common the modern results of humanism, the modern worldview, which we have considered at length in this series. When the perspective, the worldview of the elite, coincides with some of the influential news carriers, it does not have to be all, then either consciously or unconsciously, the media becomes an instrument for manipulation.